Hi everybody. Um, this is our little vid of our our uh, trip from Banbury to Duke's Kirk at Oxford. Yeah, we in we left Banbury in the um, last week's vid, uh, moored up at Nadkey Bridge. Nadkey Bridge. Yeah, so we've left there now. Uh, we're travelling down to to Oxford, but we're not actually going to go through Oxford. No. Once we get to Oxford um, there's a lock called Duke's Cut Lock I think so yeah, yeah. and Duke's we, we'll Cut go lock. through Duke's Cut and then we're off the canals and on the river it's yeah. going to be on the Thames so looking forward to that that'll be our first experience of a river on this boat uh, we've been on the River Neen on higher boats mm. yeah so uh, yeah looking forward to that so we've got uh, it's about 22 miles and 14 locks to get there so um, it's Yep. They're all, all this again. All yeah. we're still on the Oxford, so they're all all single locks. So yeah. um, nothing too heavy, but just depends on how well uh, maintained the uh, the gear is on the on the locks. Yeah. So we'll yeah. have to wait and see. Yep. Yeah. yeah so we did, did have a little bit of difficulty difficulty on uh, one of the locks it was grant's lock grant's lock yeah yeah um went in the lock um let the water out drop down then as deb come to open the gate we could actually see that the gate wasn't fully open no we tried yeah, the everything actual, the actual gate doesn't wouldn't go back fully in the recess so I, th I thought well there should be enough room to squeeze through so powered forward got half the boat through and then, then got and wedged then, yeah yeah, so uh, managed to get, get the boat back. So what we then done is close the gate, cleared any debris that we could see behind there. Which uh, wasn't, there wasn't no, a lot. No, there was so a few, few sticks and bits and pieces yeah, floating about. Yeah. So whether there was anything below the waterline. Um, so I think after about three attempts and <gasps> me getting Doing the barge pole in at the front yeah. to scrape away at the opening uh, and shutting to try yeah. and move the yeah, stuff I think on attempt three or four it, it still didn't open fully but enough for us I put um, all my strength on the gate just to give it that extra yeah, half yeah, an inch yeah. and Mark you just hang you just yeah, went just for got it. A, a few more revs going and sort of scraped along the gate yeah. and uh, along the wall but uh, we rung CRT and let them know about it and uh, you know obviously they'll send somebody out to have a look Yeah, so we found um, some beautiful moorings at Upper Hayford. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was it was dreamy. Be be beautiful countryside, and no normally your toll your toll path is is very narrow. Um, it was just the way they were designed, and obviously over the years the hedges are in encroached in there. But this this was quite a wide, very Lovely. wide section of the toll path, so we could get the deck chairs out which we hadn't got so we couldn't get the dead chairs out and uh, but it was a beautiful beautiful day and you just wish you'd have had some chairs to sit outside yeah which yeah. we have now actually we have got. now yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 but the dog dogs loved it because we're in the, in the middle of nowhere we can yeah. let those off and uh, let those guys run around yeah, and they got, had the, that was lovely yeah, and yeah. then we got the whirly line out and yeah, I did yeah. some washing and had fresh air go through yeah, my yeah, lawn had a had a laundry day washing yeah, yeah that was we, lovely and I think we stayed there for a couple of days yeah 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 it was really really nice Up there. <laughs> Big 
Well, we're moored up um, just before Upper Hayford. And here's our view. And here's our back garden for the day. And it's wash day. So we've got the uh, whirly washing line out that we had from when we had uh, the touring caravan. And that's actually the first time we've used this because we're on, as you can see, quite a wide towpath. The dogs are enjoying it. They're just laying about in the sun. Yeah, and he also had the chance to do a bit of drone footage. Yeah, uh, uh, Deb bought me this drone two and a half, nearly three years ago. And for the last year, yeah, it's just been in the box. Uh, unfortunately, in that time, one of the batteries, uh, lithium batteries, has gone. So I'm down to one battery now. But uh, And obviously new legislation now has come in with the drones. So it's, it's uh, using the app to find out if you're near... Uh, the airports and bits and pieces to make sure that we or any uh, sort of runways yeah, really yeah there's a there's a, a website I think it's drone safe UK or drone safe .org or something I'll, I'll stick a link uh, down below for it but yeah got my first little bit of drone footage that um, yeah. you'll get to watch <laughs> a um a lift bridge yeah um that we hadn't come across before we've yeah. done lift bridges but none like this one no it's uh, pleasant yeah, pleasant <laughs> just come around the corner and bridge 205 this is uh an electric lift bridge all the other ones have been manual and they've all been up nice easy little job for deb Nice easy one to open. Yeah.
I wouldn't want my rear button against that leaky gate. I think I'd get wet feet. I better move forward. So what we um, what we're trying to do is uh, I've I've got no problems whatsoever driving the boat all day long but obviously there, there could come a time I'm ill or um, injured or hurt something so it's important <laughs> that you that Debbie uh, learns how to handle the boat properly uh, so so what we're we're doing when we get a nice day and, and quiet yeah nice and quiet um, no moored boats that we've got to pass not too windy Deb will take the tiller for 10-15 minutes and um, just get, gain more experience yeah, and, and what I'm doing rather than saying oh you need to do this or you need to do that because I've, I've only been doing it a, a few months so just trying to let Deb experience well oh damn this has gone wrong what have I got to do to put it right and which I'm which is which is how I've, I've, I struggle I've to remember how to do it yeah um, but but again it's, it's like anything the more the more you do it uh, the easier it's going to get in theory in theory so um, you've done your first lock I did shit my pants <laughs> and uh, what have you just done Debbie I've just done a lock when we say done a lock, Deb normally opens yes, sorry. all the locks. But yes, yeah, Deb, Deb took the boat into the lock, yeah. held it steady while I'd done the paddles, and then uh, went down, drove, drove the boat out of the drove lock. Drove the boat out, yeah. And how was it? Uh, not too bad. That weren't too bad at all. A bit scary because it's like the first one I've properly done, but yeah, it was all right. Looking forward to the next one? No. <laughs> Deb's got her on coming to a narrow bridge face. <laughs> How is that? <laughs> Not too bad. Did we have it? Yeah, we had a boat approach so just went to like get off off of center and we was probably a good four foot from yeah. the edge of the toll path but you could hear grinding and scraping obviously where all the old masonry work is has crumbled away into the canal is, is very shallow and uh, yeah so I'd hate hate to be there in a really busy point where you're continually moving over when you had boats. to hop off yeah yeah there was there was one push, point we got we got stuck with the, yeah, push yeah with the barge, barge, pole. barge pole and yeah. uh, and then there was nowhere for him to get on and no, I, I was no. i was on the boat and i'm like oh, oh my god yeah and he was walking alongside he's yeah. don't panic don't panic no. okay yeah. back there Deb. we ran aground and then what happened you had to get off and push us off which left me stranded on the towpath and me cruising along oh my god yeah so we're on the Oxford between bridge 211 and 212 and uh, very very shallow mm. I mean we was just off just off centre and we ground out bottomed out so we had our first experience of, uh, well, it's not road rage, is it? No, canal uh, rage. Canal rage. In, but it weren't rage as such. Well, there was there was rage coming from, from Debbie. Uh, Which is why Mark plays the music. <laughs> yeah, I did. I have it edited. Um, but it was frustrating. Yeah, we was yeah. coming through a place, place called, called Gibraltar. Yeah. And... Uh, it was a long sweeping curve for about about half a mile and a boat pulled out in front of us which me personally think he, he should have let us go but he, he saw us um, coming and he panicked to pull out 
but he had a, a little rowing boat attached to the back of him, which a lot of people do. To, I think he was carrying firewood in it. Um, but, but, he'd left, was... <laughs> but he'd left the, the rowing boat bungee, bungee to the side of the, the arm coat. So he was trying yeah. to go and his yeah. bungee was getting longer and longer and longer. And, uh, and he, he did say later like, it was a, a cheap uh, Aldi's bungee strap, but it held the, it held that boat. It held the boat back. Yeah. Any, anyway, he, he got off. Um, so we've got a long sweeping curve with moored boats all in the outside. So you, you, we're both in tick Both sides as well. It was quite no, narrow, it was wasn't it? Reeds one side, moored boats the other. Yes, but it was very narrow. Yeah, very yeah, narrow. Fa fairly narrow. So we're going past in tick over, and obviously all boats vary um, the engine sizes. So his tick over, he was travelling a lot slower than me. Yeah. So I had to keep doing is dropping it into neutral. And as you know, or maybe you don't know, if you're out of gear, you basically have got no steering because your steering is com uh, when you get your force from your propeller onto the rudder. That's what actually gives you your steering. So there's an old saying, no gear, no steer. So basically, if you're not in a forward or reverse gear, um, you have no no steering. And we just kept, kept catching yeah, up so with the we, guy, we kept didn't we? Catching this this guy up so then I'm giving it a little thrust of reverse just to slow down back into tick over to regain steering before I uh, veer into the moored boats yeah. and all all this time there's a there's a cruiser that keeps like coming up at ramming speed and then stopping dropping back coming up at ramming speed and stopping and then he then he's trying to get past overtake he was yeah. trying to, to no actually it's undertake, undertake. he was trying yeah, to yeah. come on the inside <laughs> well, we've, we've got a lock coming up ahead and yeah. a lock landing. So the order of the day was the boat in front would have got on the lock landing, would have got on the lock landing behind him, and the, the cruiser guy. would have then done the same. But as we all slowed down to get onto the lock landing, this cruiser then takes the overtake manoeuvre. Yeah. And goes uh, right, yeah, in front well, of the, right in front of the lock gates. Yeah. Right in front of them. And... Uh, and well, he, you you could you could smell the alcohol as he went. He went was as drunk as, as anything. A, a he drunk was as a skunk. He was uh, swearing and screaming, and the guy in the boat in front of us hopped out um, to help him with the lock because he, yeah. he just he so was he, just not yeah, capable so he of just doing it. Barged in ahead of us. Yeah. Tried to get himself in the lock. Um, was in that much of a state he couldn't cope. So. And then he was full of apologies, and I just wanted. To, did he apologise? Yeah, he said that. sorry. Yeah, oh. but it was just, it, yeah. but it was like I, I just, I can't say what I wanted to do to him. <laughs> but there yeah, go. but but hey, hey ho, no, no harm done. The end of the day, we had a had a natter with the other boat uh, in front of us. Yeah, he was some, a nice chap. Yeah, and he'd had some uh, engine problems that he just managed to get resolved. So yeah, and then we headed off on to the River Cherwell. Kidlington, which yeah. is just outside, really, Duke's Cunning. Yeah, it's yeah. Not had that our far. had our first encounter with um, drunken stag party. Yeah, <laughs> they were lovely. Yeah, yeah, which and uh, they were obviously this, uh, they'd only just set out what they were like later in the day. I, I do not know, but we saw them the next morning come back, and they all stood there. <laughs> On the boat <laughs> with these these faces yeah, of uh, yeah. uh, hangover faces, yeah. I call them. Yeah, yeah. where their their eyes are down and they're they're just looking down because yeah. they're obviously hungover pretty bad. 
yeah, that was a sorry sight to see him coming back. Yeah, I've yeah. Got, got some footage, footage of him going, but yeah, I didn't actually didn't get any... Prop, no, we didn't, yeah. no. Yeah. And also Mark did actually satiate oh, his yes. fish and chip yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. The, it was about a two-minute bike ride from where we were moored into the town. Um, beautiful fish and, fish and chip shop. Nice, yeah, yeah. yeah, so I had this craving for fish and chips, as I, I mentioned uh, in one of the other vlogs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that, that will keep me going. <laughs> For, uh, for a for few a weeks. Yeah. yeah. Well, we was going to leave the boat, but we've got <laughs> pirates. <laughs> I thought you stags were meant to come through here about 20 mile an hour. Yeah, <laughs> you, we, you, we've been told off already once, right. so we've had to slow down. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy, my darling. Thank Bye. you. Who's the unlucky man? All oh, right, the good-looking one. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he's the only one getting married. <laughs> well, have fun, chaps. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. So that's it for now. Yeah. So again, if you enjoyed, like it, hit, uh, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please subscribe. subscribe yeah. And. Uh, near the subscribe button next to it there's a little bell icon yeah. if you you click that you'll get a couple of marks around the bell and then that way you'll get notified of any uh, uh, future vids that we put up that's right and comments yeah yeah com love your com comments yeah yeah keep the comments coming guys yeah it's uh, great and uh, ho hopefully if i don't have the answer i will uh, find out for you. Mark, not have the answer? Uh, yeah, well, I, I normally do have an answer. Not always the right answers, but I will always have an answer. <laughs> right. Okay then, bye.